Here are seven ways to sustain and even thrive as a photographer, even in the midst of a looming recession. Number one, work on your mindset. This might not be the sexiest or most fun thing to do, but if you do not work on your mindset, not a single one of the other tips I'll share with you will work. In order to have a successful business, you must have a successful mindset. The fact is that starting and growing a business is hard. Doing it during a recession can be even harder, but not impossible. If you choose to have a growth and a service-based mindset, a recession can actually be an opportunity to thrive. Tip number two is to diversify your income. There are limitless ways to do this, but the gist is to think about serving your clients on a different capacity. For example, if you're a family photographer who is experiencing fewer bookings because of the rising prices, why not offer your mom clients an in-person or an online course teaching them how to use their phones or cameras to take pictures of their family? Now, just because they might not be able to afford a full session with you does not mean they will not want their family moments documented. Let's also not forget about all the skills that you've acquired as a photographer. You've likely spent hours learning the ins and outs of your website platform or editing or blogging or social media or design. Why not offer a done for you service or teach those skill sets to others who need them? Number three, do not slash your prices. Instead, think of ways to add value to your clients. Now, I'm not saying to not ever offer strategic promotions or deals, ones that allow you to still remain in profit, but instead of feeling like you must lower your prices in order to get more bookings, think of ways to add value to your clients. Tip number four is to start or grow your rainy day fund. Having a business savings account is so important. No need to feel guilty or ashamed if you don't have one yet, just start it today. Personally, every week I take a percentage of what my business made within the last seven days and I move it into my business savings account. Even if at the moment you can only afford to move $5 over, do it. Get in the habit of routinely setting aside a portion of your income for savings. Tip number five, pay off debt and or eliminate unnecessary expenses. Know where your money is going. Log into your bank account and check out how you've been spending the last 30, 60, or 90 days. Are you buying way too many props when you already have a closet full of them? Do you keep purchasing presets that you never actually end up using? Do you really need that brand new lens or can you still get the job done well with your current equipment? Along those same lines, pay off debt where you can. Try to pay off your credit card or perhaps you're on a payment plan for a program that you're committed to. So see if you can pay it off early. Many times paying off an investment early can come with and added savings. The point here is to lower your monthly reoccurring expenses, especially the ones that have high interest rates. Special note here, I am not saying to not invest in your business, but invest wisely. Make sure wherever your money is going, you are seeing a return on that investment. Tip number six is to maintain your client relationships. When is the last time that you clicked off, you checked in on your past clients and leads? Why not take some time and send them a handwritten card or a sweet text? You can even focus on growing your email list and prioritize weekly emails that add value to their life. Nurturing your warm leads will pay off. After all, it's way easier to book somebody in who's already heard about you, already hired you, than somebody who is brand spanking new. And finally, tip number seven is to use your time wisely. With a looming recession, you might see a lull in your bookings and have more downtime. Now do not waste this, time is a gift. Here are some ways to spend your downtime wisely. You can increase your skill set or learn something new. Perhaps it's learning off-camera flash, copywriting, or Facebook ads. Maybe you can revamp your website or pre-write weeks or even months worth of blog posts, social media posts, and emails. Read business books or pursue other creative hobbies that give you joy. Now, I know that last one might seem counterintuitive, but when you can take a bit of time every single day and pursue the things that are fun, it changes your perspective and can give you mental clarity. The bottom line, my friend, is that a recession doesn't have to knock you down or out. Decide now that you will use this next season to grow even in frustration and serve your clients well and to find joy no matter what life brings. You got this.